Have you ever wondered how you can make your words more specific? Well, today I'm going to address just that with a unique tool that I created for this purpose. I'm Dustin, the Writing Tutor, and I help students write beyond grade level. I do this in two ways. The first way is through live tutoring sessions on Zoom. And the second way is through content like this. So if you find this content helpful, don't forget to like and follow so that it shows up in your feed. Okay, let's get started with the problem first. The problem is if we have overly general words, it's unclear, it's weaker, and it's less engaging for the reader. So we need to target those less specific words and change them, especially in the editing process. Well, the tool for this is one that can be used to identify these general words. And I call it the three levels of specificity. The first level is very general. So we have words like plant and food and animal. Uh, level two is somewhat specific. It's in the middle. And level three is much more specific. So we have words like dahlia, fudge, and border collie. So the, this tool is kind of like night vision goggles. Because if you put on a set of night vision goggles, you suddenly become aware of what is out there. You can see things that you couldn't see before. And that is my idea with this. So when I work with students in my tutoring sessions, I have them highlight the level one words and the level two words to get in a habit of seeing something they weren't aware of previously. So this is how you use this tool. There are three steps to really creating a habit of being more specific in your writing. The first step is to practice identifying the specificity of individual words. So we want to, you know, be able to look at one word and say, hey, this is this is quite general, this is level one or level two. And then the second step is to practice improving these words or phrases or maybe whole sentences. And then we want to apply it to our own writing. That's really where it begins to take shape as a habit. Okay, so the word I'm using here is specificity. And uh, here you can see a pronunciation of this. In step one, we want to practice the following. What I'd like you to do is write down level one, level two, and level three on a piece of paper and create separate columns for those. Then take these words here and write them under the correct column. Go ahead and pause this video while you do that. All right, let's take a look at some possible answers. So here you can see that animal, structure, clothing, talked, and thing are more general, of course. And the highly specific versions are cheetah, Roman, Colosseum, Levi, jeans, braised, and kettle drum. All right, let's get some practice improving the following general sentences. Go ahead and pause this while you do just that. Here are some possible answers. So here you'll notice that we changed the place was nice to how it was nice. And sometimes asking questions like how or what type of uh, will really help us to bring out more specific language. How was it nice? Well, a refreshing mist filled the dale. How was it dangerous? Well, an avalanche roared from the peak. What type of animal leapt? Well, it was a chipmunk. What type of plant did it leap from? Well, it was a hemlock. The third step, of course, is applying this to your writing. And what you want to do now is over the next few months, keep practicing this in your own writing. Look for those level one and level two words. You might want to highlight them or underline them or bold them if you're using a Word document. And this will help you get really good at seeing words that just are not as specific as they need to be. I want to also mention that sometimes specificity is about the content we're including. So if you don't have very specific examples or evidence that you're using in your paragraphs, it's going to be hard to have specific discussion that follows. So just keep that in mind. The best way to make words more specific is by avoiding using a lot of adjectives. So if we think about, you know, saying something good about someone or something, we can say that in many words, like talked about the good things, or we could say it in a single word, like praised or touted. Those are our power verbs. And in general, words like that, that have a concentrated meaning are power words. 
We don't want to use words that are inaccessible to our audience or our target reader, but we do want to use words that are as specific as is appropriate. So as I mentioned, we do have a newsletter to provide further academic support, and we really do have a lot of resources that we send to our members. Uh, so one, for example, is this long SAT page, and it includes several free practice activities, registration information, and much, 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 much more. So if you're interested in that, check out the link on this page and consider joining our community. I think you'll really get a lot out of it. Anyways, I'm Dustin, the Writing Tutor. I really hope this helped you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.